Good evening and welcome tonight. I'm Mark Wilson. And I'm Kelly Ring. Thanks for joining us, everybody. He's accused of drugging and torturing and killing two men in Tampa 19 years ago. But Stephen Lorenzo still has not gone on trial. He's used one delay tactic after the next, and he was back at it again today, saying sex tapes found in his home should not be used against him. Fox 13's Gloria Gomez joining us now live from the Tampa courthouse. So what happened today, Gloria? Kelly, the focus for Lorenzo today was those sex tapes. He says investigators found in his home. He says they are irrelevant and should not be used in his trial. You still want to represent yourself. Is that the case? Yes, they do. Yeah, yeah. Notorious murder defendant uh, Stephen Lorenzo smiled as he told the judge he was happy representing himself and so far it's worked out well for him if i don't get to see this stuff he has complained about not getting evidence and accused prosecutors of hiding some of it the complaints and threats have caused his trial to be delayed over and over again to the frustration of pam williams i'm just totally fed up with the whole justice system i'm sorry prosecutors say pam's son jason galehouse and another man Michael Wachholz were murdered by Lorenzo and his co-defendant, Scott Swikert. He take a look at this picture. Pam has been waiting nearly 20 years for justice, but now in failing health, she fears she won't live long enough to see it. And I'm getting my own death sentence right now. Prosecutor St. Lorenzo, along with his co-defendant, Scott Swikert, lured the victims to Lorenzo's Seminole Heights home. They say the gay men were drugged, tortured, used as sex slaves, and later murdered. Prosecutors say portions of the crimes were videotaped. But during a virtual hearing Wednesday, Lorenzo argued it was all consensual. You've got to be kidding. What are they, why are they using these? Because they were all willing participants. Lorenzo doesn't think the sex videos are relevant. Do I want copies of it? No. But if the state's going to use it, I want them. Prosecutors haven't decided whether a jury will get to see them. Kelly, prosecutors telling the judge today they didn't know what videos Lorenzo was talking about. They said they would look into it and decide later whether they will be used in the trial. By the way, Lorenzo is back in court in July. Back to you. All right, Gloria Gomez reporting from the courthouse. Thank you so much, Gloria.